Welcome back, guys. Welcome to another episode of Zero Two Federation with me, Stefan Abram, one of the co-founders of Wondergraph. Today, we're going to go over two important things about Wondergraph Cosmo. The architectural overview, as well as the new pricing plan that we just rolled out. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, guys. So you'll see here that I'm at cosmodocs.wondergraph.com. This is just our documentation for Wondergraph Cosmo. Let's head over to the architecture and let's make this bigger. So it's important to know that Wondergraph has two, or Wondergraph Cosmo has two ways of being run, which is self-hosted, completely self-hosted, or uh, a managed solution. But it's kind of a hybrid managed solution. Let me explain. Everything you see below this line will always be self-hosted on your infrastructure team. This is our self-hosted router. This includes the query engine, OTL, subscription, middlewares, authentication, everything. You host this, and then if you're using the managed solution, you connect it up to Cosmo Studio. You could, in theory, run this entire stack yourselves if you wanted to. And there's a difference between the routers. We now have an enterprise router and a regular router. So if you wanted to, you could use the regular router or you could use the enterprise router. We'll go over in the, the difference between the two. But what we have now in our pricing is that you self-host the router and then we run everything above. So we run the Cosmos Studio, which includes the graph registry, the composition, the analytics, the collaboration. We also run the infrastructure that powers it. So ClickHouse, Postgres, OTL, and GraphQL. Once again, two plans. We have a hybrid managed SaaS you self-host a router, we host everything above, or if you wanted to, to self-host the entire stack yourselves. Now let's kind of go into the pricing of Wondergraph Cosmo. So Cosmo has four tiers now, developer, launch, scale, and enterprise. Developer is a self-hosted router. It's the self-hosted OSS router, up to 10 million requests per month included, and a Discord community support. Launch is the next tier over, which is the self-hosted router, up to 100 million requests per month, and email support. From there, you have scale, the self-hosted router again, the OSS one, up to 250 million requests per month, 14 days of data retention, and a private Slack connect with our engineering team. And then finally, we have enterprise, which is the self-hosted enterprise router, SLAs, compliance, SSO, uh, dedicated priority support, BAAs, uh, SOC2, all that fun stuff that large enterprises have to do. If you scroll down though, you'll be able to see and compare the plans. So you'll see it's important to note that on the developer, the max team size is one, launch it's 10, scale is 25. We just rolled out um, role-based access control, so you can show who is able to see what part of your subgraph. This is super important for team sizes. From here, you'll see the requests per month, data retention included, traffic base, graph management, the number of graphs that you're allowed to have, one, two, and three between the plans, and then with enterprise custom. And then we get into the router. So this right here, all the way up to event-driven federated subscriptions is all included in the OSS router on all plans. Other companies don't allow um, authentication like JWT and JWKS authentication, as well as federated subscription, as well as even OTEL. So we've included it and actually the advanced request tracing. Awesome feature, by the way. This is included in the OSS router. You can check that out 100% free. Uh, run it yourselves, do whatever you want to it, make a pull request. It's licensed under Apache 2.0. After that, though, we've included the enterprise router. The enterprise router includes rate limiting, persistent queries, runtime health metrics, multi OTEL exporter support, subgraph response caching, and ludicrous mode, which is the highest performance mode of our router. And as the name says, it's ludicrous. After that, we get into the boring stuff of support, SLAs, and security and compliance. If you want to learn more about the enterprise router, we actually have a dedicated landing page to it, which talks about everything that's included in it. Thank you so much. That was the pricing and the architecture of Wondergraph Cosmo. More videos will come to this series from Zero to Federation with me, Stefan Abram, one of the co-founders of Wondergraph. Thanks again, guys. Bye.